Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. Today I want to talk to everybody in the local community about a program we have going on and for our more far-flung viewers, something that your local makerspace may be able to do in your community. In front of me are three radically different quadcopters, drones, and we have a program going on that involves these. If anybody in the Southwest Michigan area happens to find a lost radio controlled aircraft. Could be a quad, could be an airplane, a helicopter, model rockets, anything. If it flies, radio control, amateur hobby, flying stuff, frequently they get lost, as all of these people got to learn. If you lose a model airplane or any kind of model aircraft anywhere in Southwest Michigan, contact us. We're at 902 Leonard Northwest and you can get a hold of us through www.thegeekgroup.org because we have a standing reward. Anybody who finds a lost aircraft in your yard, out for a walk in the woods, something like that, this happens a lot, especially in a big city area like us. If you find one, bring it here. Because if you bring it here, no matter what it is, even if it's a, a little crappy toy one all the way up to a nice hobbyist series like this, this is a little racing drone, we'll give you 20 bucks just for bringing it in. We don't care, no questions, no nothing. We'll give you 20 bucks cash reward for every single model airplane you bring into the Geek Group. Because when the owner shows up, we're gonna make them prove that it's actually their aircraft and they pay 20 bucks to get it back. Now for something like this, oh, it's about a $30 quad, so it's probably not that big a deal. But for something like this, this person has hundreds of dollars invested in this aircraft and you can't fly it. If you just find this walking along, you can't just make this go. You need other stuff to make it work. Just off the top of my head, you need a radio that matches the receiver in here, a battery charger, more batteries than that one, all kinds of stuff. So bring it here and we'll give you 20 bucks for it because we wanna get this back into the hands of the person who spent a lot of effort and time building it. And as somebody who personally flies, this is a thing near and dear to my heart. If you don't have a program like this in your neighborhood, and most people don't because we pretty much invented it here a few years ago, the thing to do if you find a drone or an aircraft or something like that, check it out. It may have a number on it. it a lot of people write their phone number, their address, their name, things like that. Smart people do this a lot. It took me a few years, I'm not that smart. The other thing to do is unplug the battery, make sure it's safe, take a bunch of pictures of it, top, front, side, bottom, post those on Facebook. You probably have a local community Facebook. If you don't, you should look it up and probably join yours. But post it online, people are looking for it. These are really expensive. If we have your quad, we're going to bring your radio with you because we're going to make you prove that it's bound to your radio. It's the one thing that nobody can fake. If you were smart and followed the law, which nobody does, but if you did put your FAA identification number on your aircraft, bring it with you. Your number is gonna to match to your name. It's easy for us to prove that's your aircraft. Between those two things, we haven't let one go into the wrong hands yet, and we've had people try. Because when you post pictures saying, hey, I found this thing that's worth hundreds of dollars and took a lot of work, some unscrupulous people will show up and be like, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's totally mine. Cool, let me see your radio. Eh, we got you. If you're a member of a local makerspace, show them this video. Tell them about the idea. Steal this idea. Use it. Go do stuff. It's cheap. You pay a person 20 bucks that shows up with a thing. You're going to get it back from the person who you return it to. And now you got skin in the game, so you're very motivated to get it back to them. Everybody wins. This is how we get more people playing with RC aircraft and learning about science and technology and growing and learning and doing all that cool stuff that the Geek Group is all about.